DJI has officially announced the DJI Goggles, a versatile VR headset that may just be the coolest Mavic Pro accessory ever. Hey, this is Jonathan Feist with Charge.io. Let's take a closer look at these FPV goggles, tailor-made for one of our favorite drones. DJI offers a nice unboxing experience. Your goggles come well packaged and ours had a bit of a charge so we were able to dive straight in. The DJI goggles come in two pieces, the headband and the goggles. You'll find all the expected cables and documentation, but we will specifically mention that you get a micro HDMI cable in the box. You'll need that to connect to your PC or video game system. Just snap the headband into the goggles to get started. Combined, they are about two pounds. All that weight sits on top of your head, balanced by the headband. The goggles end up simply sitting in front of your face, as opposed to strapping to your face like many goggles. This makes it easy to tip them up when you're ready to get back to the real world. Immersing yourself in the experience, you won't be able to use your favorite pair of headphones, at least not if they are cans like mine. The band does not fit under nor over the goggles. Good thing there are dual speakers built into the DJI goggles, which point straight at your ears. Of course, you can use smaller headphones or earbuds. Just plug them into the included 3.5mm headphone jack. Straddling that audio jack is a micro SD card slot and the micro HDMI port. The DJI goggles will take input from nearly any media device with an HDMI port. A micro USB cable lives on the band for charging the goggles or connecting to other DJI drones. As with most DJI products, double tap then hold the power button to power on. By themselves or when connected to a drone, the video displays full screen. Drone connection and power information lives at the top. Telemetry on the left side with camera info and operation icons across the bottom over to the right. Swiping through the settings lets you change display brightness and more. When connected to a third party HDMI device, you can change the image size within the goggles as well, optimizing for different viewing needs. The main purpose of the DJI goggles is as a peripheral to your DJI Mavic Pro. You can connect to the new DJI Spark, Phantom 4 series quadcopters, or the Inspire 2 as well. OcuSync allows connectivity wirelessly, which means you'll use that USB port to connect to the Phantom or Inspire drones. Functionality is managed through the DJI Go 4 app for Android or iOS. You can see that the app alone has some connectivity issues sometimes. This is the live stream video from the Mavic Pro to my Nexus 6P, looking out east over the Willamette River in downtown Portland. I wish I could show you what I see in the goggles. The presentation is similar, showing the key information on the drone, power levels, location, and more. Please also take my word that the video stream was as crisp as the actual drone footage I captured. Notice something about my head movements? That's right, for a few supported drones, the DJI goggles include head tracking, allowing you to not only control the camera gimbal with your head movement, but there is a mode that allows you to steer the craft as well. You can use the goggles to take off and land your drone, otherwise DJI's autonomous flying mode, Tap Fly, allows you to control the flight of your drone. That is pretty well the extent of it, however, you'll still need your controller for full control. DJI says you'll have 110 millisecond latency from goggles to Mavic Pro in ideal conditions. I'd say that's fairly accurate. There is a dial right beside the function and back buttons on the bottom of the goggles. This is the Ease Eye Strain. It controls the interpupillary distance between the lenses. Wrapping around the outside is a soft rubber liner made to block out light. As mentioned, it is a simple task to connect the headband to the goggles themselves. The battery lives in the headband, you cannot have one without the other. DJI says you'll get 6 hours of use per charge. So far, our DJI goggles live up to the claim, with mixed use including drone flight and watching movies from the PC. There is a multi-touch trackpad on the right hand side of the goggles. It accepts basic one finger swipe and tap to navigate menus and settings then two-finger swipe to access extra menus or just to lock the trackpad to avoid accidental touches. 
The function and back buttons perform as expected for those familiar with mobile devices and are easy to find with your thumb. With a price tag of $449, the DJI goggles are an intriguing offering. On the one hand, you have an FPV headset with an internal view that outperforms many racing headsets. On the other hand, even without a drone, this is a competitive price for a VR headset. HDMI input turns the goggles into an immersive display for your PC or video game system. And we even have a connector on order. We really want to see how they work with the Chromecast connected. The internal speakers are more than loud enough to experience your content, while the 3.5mm headphone jack encapsulates the experience on a more personal level. One of our favorite features is the ability to download recorded videos from your DJI drone onto the microSD card in the goggles. You can then experience or share the flight with family and friends. Speaking of, OcuSync allows up to two goggles to connect to a single Mavic Pro. The remote control has master control, but the goggles allow the wearers to look around and be a part of the flight without needing to learn how to fly. Please do keep in mind that wearing the DJI goggles, like any other VR headset for your drone, violates the direct line of sight laws in most countries. Please use a qualified spotter if you wish to fly and wear the goggles at the same time. Thank you for joining us. Get all the details on the new DJI goggles in our written version of this review at charge.io. The link is below. Stay tuned for more coverage of this headset as we learn to best use it to fly the Mavic Pro and the new DJI Spark when it arrives in mid-June. Be sure to hit that thumbs up if you like what you see here, then tap subscribe and, and the bell icon to, to keep tabs on what we have coming next. Take care all, we'll see you next time.